for tuning in to Live with Kali episode 22. This episode, I have my first segment of Kali's cuffing season. My friends Alex and Kylie joined me in Panera and we answered two viewers' relationship questions. Okay, take four. Right okay. Hi everyone, we are the dating experts from <laughs> Kali's cuffing season. This is Alex, she's got the engaged perspective. Hi. This is Kylie, she'll be giving the dating advice. And I'm Colleen and I'm super single. We had two viewers sending questions. And our first viewer sent in three wonderful questions, so thanks for sending them in. The first question, is it okay to be in a close relationship with a guy that you've dated in the past and you know he has a girlfriend but you still have feelings for him? No. You're trying to be a homewrecker. That's not nice. He is a new girl and you should just let them be. Let them have a relationship. Let them be happy. You wouldn't want to be with a guy who's still in contact with his ex or hang out with his ex because there's feelings and history involved and that's not fair to anyone in the relationship. Yes, definitely agree. Put yourself in her shoes. You wouldn't like that. Causes jealousy. It's not needed. But I also think if he's willing to pursue something with you again um, and leave her behind, then if that's something you're willing to do, then go for it. Um, but as long as she's in the picture, I say no. I agree with Alex. Um, unless you are planning on, you know, he's into it and he wants to be done with his current girlfriend and you guys are willing to see what happens. I would say that's okay, but um, if she's involved, it's just a horrible way to try to start something again. And if he doesn't like you anymore and you have feelings, it's just not fair to yourself. The second question is, what do you do when you find out that you are the side chick, but you receive the same benefits as the main chick, such as time, gifts, and good morning texts? We're not okay with side chicks, no. and we never will be here on Kali's Cuffing Season. If you find out that there's another woman involved, Get out of that relationship. That's not fair to you. I always say that if someone likes someone, they like just that person. If it's honest and if it's real, no one else will compare. No one else will come to mind. They won't want anyone else. So make sure that you don't let anyone else come into the picture. And also don't let yourself be the other person in the relationship. Because that's not fair to you. No side chicks. That is not okay. Um, all it's going to do is create jealousy. You're just going to compare yourself to her all the time. Um, it's no you need to be the one main attention on you you don't deserve um, having someone else to compete with I agree I don't even know where this term side chick comes in where this even comes from uh, I think you know we are more uh, people go for a lot more casual relationships now if you're dating around you're dating around um, until you put a label on it um, you know it should just be casual. It should be about getting to know each other and it should be fun. Um, you know, there shouldn't be hookups involved. It should be about getting to know that person. So I don't think that there's any reason for a side chick. How many dates should you go on before inviting a guy or girl over to your house? I say at least a month's worth because I'm coming from a place where I live with my mom. So if I were to bring a guy home, it would need to be serious. It would need to be for real because he's about to meet my mom and that's a big deal to me um but it'd be different if i lived on my own if i still lived in apartments with friends it'd be more casual it'd be more like hey come see where i live like we'll hang out and then we'll go out but living with my mom it needs to be more serious he can't just come on over it should be a while before he comes and picks you up from home and like meets the parents and everything but now what Ky i'm going towards <laughs> what kylie said i definitely think if He's really into you. He will come to your door and pick you up on the first mm -hmm. date. That's what my fiance did, and we're engaged now. So it's like you know that you know <laughs> that, that worked. <laughs> yeah. So you know that he's serious about it, and he's really into you if he's willing to do that. Um, I do think if you live in an apartment, like without the parents, like there's nothing wrong with inviting him in before the date, letting him see around, like mm -hmm. see around your place and everything. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely agree with Alex. Um, <laughs> Changed my. I think that, you know, chivalry is dead, but, you know, that's what everyone says. But I think that some of my best dates have been when a guy has come to my house and picked me up. Uh, you know, they should have no problem walking up to your door. And if your parents are home, you know, just introducing themselves. You know, and it's nice when you live at home or if you live in an apartment. I think that there should just be that boundary that when you're done with that date, he walks you back to your door, kisses you goodnight, and goes home. I think that when it comes to hanging out at home, um, you should hold off on that as long as possible. Um, you know, go on dates, go different places, do things like that, because if you're gonna be together and you're gonna be together for a long time, 
hold off on that part. You know, you'll have the rest of your lives to just hang out at home. Thank you to our first viewer for your questions. Our second viewer sent in two questions, so thank you for those. The first one is, do you show your current boyfriend a sappy drunk text from your ex? No, you don't. You are showing it to him for attention. You're showing it to him for a reaction. You want him to get mad at your ex. And quite frankly, you're just going to be hurting him. If a guy showed me text that his girlfriend was, that his ex-girlfriend was sending him while I was with him, I would think that she's just trying to be mean and hurt me by thinking that there's no boundary, that, you know, she still can contact him even though he has a girlfriend. So I think that you would just be sending it to him to get a reaction and that's not okay. Yeah, definitely. Um, if it's just a text or two and it means nothing to you, then delete them, forget it, and move on. Your significant other does not need to know. Um, if you're responding and you're a part in this, then that's a whole different story that needs to be brought up because then you're hiding something from your significant other. Um, but I definitely think what the question sounded like was that um, you didn't feel the same way and you didn't you were disregarding the text, so I don't think it needs to come up in the um, conversation in the relationship. <laughs> If you are in a relationship, your ex is your ex, and that should stay that way. Um, if you are ready to start something that serious with somebody new, this should not matter at all. If it does, then that's something that you have to reevaluate yourself. Our last question for Kali's Cuffing Season is, is ex talk ever okay, or should this past stay in the past? It's okay to talk about it, like, openly and to be honest, but I think that if you keep going on about your ex, you're still hooked on them. And if I were on a date with a guy and he kept bringing up his ex, I would think, she's on your mind, and so now you're verbalizing it. I would think that I was constantly being compared to his ex, and I would think that I'm never going to measure up to her, so that would make me give up and make me not want to try anymore, because it makes it look like he's still stuck on her. So... I think that you need to be honest and open and say who was in your past and say who you were with, but to keep talking about it would just mean that you're stuck on it and that's not fair to your current boyfriend or girlfriend. Yeah, um, I definitely think ex talk is huge because it's going to come up in any relationship. You're going to want to know each other's past and who you've been dating. Um, I think the talk is okay. You need to keep it short. Don't go on and on about it like Colleen said or else you're going to be caught up. It sounds like you're caught up with your ex. Um, and especially if you had a significant relationship that was like a turning point or change who you are as a person, it's probably something that needs to be addressed, but not until further on into the relationship. And just keep it short. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I definitely agree further on in the relationship. First dates are not a place where your ex should be. You should not be talking <laughs> about that. I think that, you know, we are so digitally connected now that people are just you know, want to know about people's exes because they, you know, they can look you up on Facebook and see pictures of you and your ex. They already know Stalking. who this person is. I'm good at it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they know who this person is before, you know, they've even told you about it. Um, I think that the only time ex talk is good is if you are in a committed relationship and the only thing that needs to really be brought up is what you've learned from the relationship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Other than that, like I said, first dates are not a place to talk about an ex. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The details don't need to be talked no. about. No. I hope you liked our answers for our first Kali's Cuffing Season. <laughs> thank you, Alex. You're welcome. And thank you, Kylie. You're welcome. Thanks. Thanks. This week for Capturing Kali, we have a funny video of me trying to learn how to dance at BSC TV's The Front, which is filmed every Monday and Wednesday at Buffalo State, and episodes air on YouTube, so check that out. But first, check out me dancing with my friends there. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Gotta get the cameraman feet. Feet so fleet. Next for capturing Kali, my friend Miley and I went to the Buffalo State Library and instead of studying, this is what we ended up doing.
<laughs> and lastly for capturing Kali, my friend Kylie, who I have grown up with, sent in some pretty funny old pictures from our grade school days at Immaculate Conception. The first is a picture of me sporting my new dog tag from when we went to see the play Rent. We were quite rent heads and we loved that musical, so this was a fun throwback to see. Thanks, Kylie. Also, Kylie sent in a picture of us in our matching uniforms with matching backpacks. We were quite the fashionable duo and I had so much fun growing up with Kylie and I'm so glad that we're still so close. So thank you for the pictures, Kylie. Lastly, for Kylie Scott Mail, KK sent in a beautiful picture of her braid this week. Thank you, KK. Thank you for watching Live with Kylie episode 22 and thank you for being so patient for the release of this episode. Please stay tuned for episode 23, which will be back on track and coming out next Tune In Tuesday. Have a great week.